And welcome to Filmmaking Today, Boyan Dulabik here. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to do unboxing videos the right way. So I recently got the uh, Limo Studio 17-inch uh, mini tripod, which is this guy right here. It's hard to get the whole thing in frame. But um, it is actually a very inexpensive and very versatile uh, little tripod that you can use to mount the camera on top of it, which goes right here. This is your regular uh, quarter screw uh, for, you know, for cameras. Any camera should have, you know, this kind of a uh, screw at the bottom and then you just screw it here. Um, or you can use it for other stuff. And uh, you, uh, so when you do it, you flip this guy down and then you, you know, shoot. Uh, whatever it is that you're showing off, uh, whether it's an unboxing or you just want to show a product, whatever it is. It's a very versatile and very inexpensive piece of hardware. So here you can see when it's fully extended, it's about two feet long, which is fine when you're doing uh, unboxings. There's a few things to keep in mind. First of all, you can mount a lot of cameras on top. I would be careful about mounting large DSLRs. It's definitely not designed and built for these kinds of things. But if you have micro four thirds cameras like I do, they will be fine. And even if the lens is a, it's a bit larger, it's still gonna be fine. The way you shoot it, when you do it straight up down, like it is here, you gotta be careful. You don't want the, the legs to be in the shot. I use my 25 mil lens on my Olympus, which makes it effectively a 50 mil lens, which is fine. It still doesn't give me enough space. So I actually have this raised up another about half a foot on my little uh, shelf here. And uh, then that's that's fine for unboxings. You could use a 14 mil lens. That would definitely work better if you are limited with space. So that's something you're going to have to figure out. But this definitely gives you the flexibility, which is always nice. Now, another way you can use this tripod is just to film it straight up. So if you want to use this as a traditional tripod, this could work beautifully either as a, a camera or if you want to have a second camera in your setup and got your first camera set up, maybe using a webcam or external camera, whatever it is, and you want to use a second one, this could work nicely. You can put it on your table and just film yourself. That's also something you keep in mind, or you can go back and forth between using this as your A or B camera to film yourself and also use it for unboxing. Now, another thing to keep in mind, this does come with a cell phone holder and you can use your cell phone to record your videos, which is great. If you don't have a camera, if you just can't afford a camera right now, and you have a cell phone, I mean, really any iPhone, any decent Android phone will be able to give you great quality videos that you can use for either, like I said, to record yourself or to do the unboxings. And if you just position it the way you see right here, where it's shooting straight up down, you're going to get great footage. A lot of YouTubers do this and there's nothing wrong about it. Now, when the tripod is not extended, this is the height. It's about a foot high, which is definitely not enough if you want to record unboxings. But again, if you want to record yourself or something else, maybe uh, you want to adjust the height as well. This again gives you the flexibility. Now, another great thing is that the base actually tilts to the front or the back, which again opens up this, this tripod to be used for a lot of different things. If you have your camera extended all the way, and another way of trying to avoid seeing those black legs is if you slightly tilt it to the front and then adjust the camera, the position of it, the viewing angle, uh, you know, you will be able to avoid seeing those legs, which is great. It creates a very professional video because the number one thing about unboxing videos is that you want to have a clean surface. You just want to focus on the product. You don't want to have too much dead space, but you also don't want it to feel very cramped where you can't really see the product fully. And this kind of a setup definitely allows you to do that. Another good thing about being able to tilt this thing to the front is that you can also use it as a holder for your microphone. So I have my H4 Zoom attached to this guy right here, and I've actually used this for an audio commentary recording. So I had this guy set up in my living room. My brother and I, we were watching a movie and recording the audio commentary, which you can see on my channel. It's the movie Commando, and it worked beautifully. 
The only thing to keep in mind, if you have it fully extended, the base might be, depending on how heavy your mic is, it might be maybe tipping a little to the front. So you might want to put just something heavy on the base itself just to give it weight so it doesn't go anywhere. But other than that, this will work as well. This thing, granted, th the build quality is not the greatest, but for the price, which is about 14 bucks or so, 13, 14 in the US. I mean, let's face it, you're not exactly paying premium price. So the build quality is not the greatest. However, if you know its limits, you can use this thing for all kinds of things. I mean, I'm probably gonna get a second one, definitely, maybe even a third one and use it for different things, which is great. So that's it guys for this video. Stay tuned for more. Please like or dislike this video, whichever way you wanna go. Uh, use my uh, Amazon affiliate links if you wanna purchase this guy. They help me out with the channel. Channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it definitely helps me out and uh, you know so I can buy more stuff and show it to you guys and That's it. So follow me on all the social media platforms. Just type in my name Bojan Dulabic or Dulabic Studio Stay tuned for more